is back. The respiratory irritation is sending many people packing and leaving the beaches early. But now relief is on the way in the form of an app. Very soon you'll be able to easily warn fellow beachgoers and notify researchers if red tide is nearby. Sounds like another good idea. Eight on your side's John Rogers joining us live in Lido Key to show us how this works. John. Hey there, guys. Moat Marine researchers admit they can't be everywhere at every time, and yet red tide forecasts are constantly changing. And so hopefully this phone app can prevent you from having a bad day. You don't need me to tell you it was beautiful at Lido Key. Picturesque, a postcard kind of day. This is the reason people like Paulette Brenton come down here all the way from Canada. But right now, Brenton is experiencing something you can't see. Red tide. Little bit of choky in your throat? Yes, longtime beachgoers are well aware of this algae nuisance. Red tide blooms kill fish and cause respiratory problems in humans. So to help, Moat Marine researchers are developing the Citizen Science app so beachgoers can warn each other about red tide. Think ways, but for the beach. It's just really important for people to make healthy decisions before going to the beach by looking at all the information possible and finding out where to go for their beach day. The app is simple to use. You just answer yes or no questions. So, is the water discolored? Yes or no? You can tell the app if you're coughing or if you spot dead fish, and the app will pinpoint your location to warn others. Beachgoers can precisely report areas of the beach with red tide, and researchers can use this as they're collecting data. Um, this could be red tide, but it just gives us a better picture of what's going on. I think that's a great idea. The app can help Denton avoid coughing fits, but she won't be deterred. We go to another beach, usually. Yeah. See, nothing's going to stop me. Nothing's going to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Now, after you report Red Tide with this app, uh, fellow users will be able to give a thumbs up or a thumbs down to confirm or deny what you're experiencing out here. So the whole point is to give you a, a lot of information to help you make an informed decision before you head out here to the beach, guys. I just can't get over how beautiful it looks out there. John, you've got the assignment of the day. Uh, hopefully you're breathing easy. When will this app be available? <laughs> It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it, right, Jen? Well, this app hopefully will be available within the next month. It's free in the App Store or Google Play, and again, it's called the Citizen Science app. Look out for it. I will indeed. John Rogers, live in Sarasota. Thank you.